second is, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments, the whole law is based, and the prophets as well. In turn, Jesus put a question to the assembled Pharisees. What is your opinion about the Messiah? Whose son is he? David, they answered. He said to them, and how is it that David, under the Spirit's influence, calls him Lord, as he does when he says, The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand, until I humble your enemies beneath my feet. If David calls him Lord, how can he be his son? No one could give him an answer. Therefore, no one dared from that day on to ask him any question. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory.
Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as the Judas, but like the thief I profess to you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not to my judgment or condemnation, but to the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body, and your life-giving blood, which I pray may be worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting in the O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without my grace. 
position of our Holy Rose, we celebrate this day. As in the prayers for our Holy Father, John of Jesus, Archbishop of Constantinople, and Thomas the Apostle, patron of our Holy Church, and to the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Church calendar. It's, it's New Year's Eve. It's, and tomorrow, September the 1st, is the start of the Byzantine New Year. You know, back in the day, the entire world celebrated New Year's not on January 1st, but on uh, September 1st. That's the start of the school year, the start of, of the fiscal year, the start of the harvest time, and it was also the start of the civil new year and the church new year. So what does that mean, the church new year? It means the cycle of Holy Day celebrations. And of course, the greatest Holy Day celebration to which everything flows to and flows from is the greatest of all the, of all the feast days, the Feast of Feasts, the resurrection of our Lord. And so all the Holy Days lead up to the resurrection of our Lord, and all the Holy Days lead from the resurrection of our Lord. The very first Holy Day leading towards that is, in the new year, the birth of the Mother of God. And then it continues on through all the other Holy Days like Christmas and Theophany and so forth, climax <laughs> with Easter, and then flowing from that, Ascension Thursday, Pentecost Sunday, and so forth, and so on, ending uh, with the permission of the Mother of God. Did you pick up on that? The very first feast day of the, of the new year starts with Mary, the Mother of God, the very last feast day of the new year ends with Mary, the mother of God. Two feast days. I think that shows how important the Holy Mother of God is in our life's journey. So this is kind of the way, friends, the beginning of the new church year, when we, in a sense, turn the page and start all over again, journeying with God. If there's anything you just want to kind of forget about last year, whether it be a personal failing, um, a bad habit, a sin, whether it's just a bad memory or something difficult in our life that we had to carry across on our shoulders or something weighing heavily in our heart, time to turn the page and we start all again with our Lord for a brand new journey. So uh, I have a prayer for the beginning of the new year. Let's pray this together. Let us pray to the Lord. seasons of the years and who guides all things with wise providence. We thank you for all the blessings you have poured forth upon us during these past, this past year. We humbly beg you, O now, O bountiful Lord, bless this new year with your goodness. Direct our civil authorities towards the path of goodness. Bestow your heavenly blessings upon all your people, granting health, salvation, and growth in virtue. Deliver your holy church and this city from every assault of the evil one. Grant us peace and tranquility. Grant that we may always offer thanksgiving to you, to our Father, who is from everlasting life, to your only begotten Son, and to your all holy good and life giving spirit, God glorified, one in three persons, now and ever and forever. Yeah. 